Hi there, everyone, and welcome back for another reading session. In this session, we're going to focus on <clears throat> pieces that would be great as you welcome your singers back after a break, um, after this extended time of not singing together, uh, or maybe singing online, or maybe singing at a distance in masks. Um, what are some pieces that would be great to to use as you focus on listening to one another, as you focus on uh, identifying tone and really bringing your ensemble back together. Um, and in, in this session, we're gonna feature 10 titles and it's gonna span the ages, a couple for those really young kids uh, through elementary choirs, youth choirs, and then adult choirs. So let's start out with the itty bitties. Um, this was a, a new wrote to note piece in 2020. Um, <laughs> when you may not have seen it uh, come out, but this is called I Give Thanks by Tony Sullivan, a CGI grad. And uh, this piece, a couple, a couple of the pieces in this session are available as virtual learning resource packs, which we created to meet that need of rehearsing on Zoom, rehearsing in a, in a place where you're not together at the same time. But I would encourage you to think of these resources as things that you can use even when you are back together. Um, if you purchase a virtual learning resource pack, you get a reproducible PDF that you can print or send out to families or your adult singers. Uh, you get the demo track, which you can distribute to families or distribute to your adult singers. There are so many great resources that you can use even for in-person rehearsals um, and probably save a couple bucks by buying this the, the virtual learning resource pack. So um, if you're not rehearsing virtually, learning virtually, I encourage you to think of these as learning resource packs because they're just full of goodies that will aid any type of rehearsal. Um, I Give Thanks also comes with a lyric video, which is a, a fun thing to send home with your singers. They can, you know, they and their parents can see the lyrics on the screen and sing along with, uh, with a demo. This is a super cute piece, uh, perfect for Thanksgiving, but you can talk about being thankful any time of the year. Um, this is great because the rhythm gets the ensemble together right away. I give thanks, I give thanks, I give thanks with a grateful heart. And time to watch the director, right? You can give them that cue to where to put on the T of the word heart. Thanks with a grateful heart, right? Putting the T right on there. So it's a great way to get the kids watching you at the beginning of the year and just, uh, getting everybody back in following that steady beat, right? Feeling that steady beat together as an ensemble. So let's take a listen. brand new, as in just released this week. That is how new it is. This piece is only available as a virtual learning resource pack. Um, and I think you'll see why when you hear the demo. This is by Kim Ingram, and it's called The Light of the Sun. This has Lion King vibes to it that you'll hear in the orchestration. Um, Kim wrote this for her own VBS program um, and sent it to me and wondered, can we, you know, can we, can you use this anywhere? And I said, 
<laughs> Absolutely. Um, so we don't have, it's not available as an octavo with a piano part, um, but it's available uh, with this really, really cool demo track. Um, I hear VBS when I hear this song, but the message is, is just wonderful. Uh, Jesus in me, Jesus in you, Jesus in everything we say and do. And we stand together as one in the light of the sun. Uh, it's a piece about seeing people who are, who might be different than us as children of God, right? Um, this would be great to pair with like a mission project or an outreach project, sort of as like the theme song. Um, but this has tons of energy. It's a great way to uh, bring kids into your program in the fall. Uh, maybe introduce some movement just to get everyone moving together and feeling that steady beat. Maybe even using some percussion in your rehearsal as you sing along with this song. Uh, it incorporates this little light of mine. Um, and let's take a, a listen. I think you'll enjoy it. that vibe of this little light of mine and feature a song from Mark Patterson. This is his arrangement. Um, many of you might know the unison two-part arrangement of Mark's, which is available as an octavo as well as in Can't Wait to Sing book two, which is one of my favorite books, song books. Uh, this one, this arrangement Mark um, created for SAB. So, great to bring your adult choir back together. Um, if you're missing some of those men uh, who may not feel comfortable coming back quite yet and you only have, uh, you know, those baritone voices, bass baritone voices, this is a great option. This little light of
next piece is arranged by Tom Trenny. It's called God is Here Today, that hymn. And Tom arranged this last year. We released it during COVID. And I wanted to draw it to your attention in case you didn't notice it last year um, or in case you're just ready to, to do it this year. This is unison two part, um, but would work beautifully for combined choirs, either combined children's choirs or multi-generational children and adults. Um, the two part is, is relatively easy. And if you're just working on getting your adults to listen to one another, um, just have them sing in unison. Practice listening as you sing, which is a, if, if they haven't been doing it, if they haven't been singing in a choir for a year and a half, it's a skill that they'll need to, to bring back to the surface. So take a look at this piece. Um, again, a great message. God is love. And when we love one another, God lives in us, abides in us. Here is God is here today. ago when CGI was held in Fort Worth, um, some of our, our participants, our students brought this song during one of the worship services, Yesu Azali Awa. And I remember hearing it thinking, first of all, what a catchy song. Um, second of all, it, you could just hear the harmonies come to the surface, <laughs> you know, underneath the melody. Such a pleasure, a pleasure to sing. And then third, um, we need an arrangement of this. <laughs> so I asked Mark Burroughs, um, would you please arrange this? And he did. So this is Yesu Azaliwa arranged for SATB. It's a cappella with percussion. Um, and I think this would be a great piece to bring your ensemble together if you're looking for uh, a basic and repetitive piece of music that doesn't feel basic and repetitive. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's one of those pieces where you can be musical. You can be musical with this. Um, and the message, you know, is also great. Jesus is here with us as we meet together, as we sing together. Jesus is here with us. So uh, this is also available as a VLRP, Virtual Learning Resource Pack. So if you want to pr purchase the reproducible score and then get the demo tracks, um, you can do that. The VLRPs also come with a rehearsal resource page. So in case you're wondering, okay, how do I integrate warm-ups with my repertoire? Um, this will give you some tools on the vocal eases you can do that will then set your choir up to uh, sing this well. You know, it will introduce a melody, a melodic idea, or a rhythmic idea, and <clears throat> do that preparatory work for learning the anthem. So here is Yesu Azali Awa.
part arrangement of Oh How I Love Jesus. And this is appropriate for any age. So use this with your children's choirs or use this two-part song with your adult choirs as you're bringing them back. Uh, have the treble voices sing together and the bass voices sing together um, to a familiar hymn that they might know from their childhood. Um, also great to teach children this, this hymn that they may or may not know, depending on your tradition. So here is Oh How I Love Jesus. Oh, how I love anthems. Uh, the first is an Advent piece from Brian Hansen called O Come Holy Light. This was also released in 2020 during COVID. Uh, we released this as a virtual learning resource pack. It's for SATB voices and Brian also wrote a four-part devotional based on the anthem. Uh, so this takes you sort of through the four stanzas of this piece. Um, and helps you focus on the meaning of each stanza uh, in this four-part devotional. It's just wonderful, and it's included in the VLRP. So please do check that out. Um, I love Brian's writing. Um, like I mentioned in our other session with Tim Osick, it's just so tender. Tender and musical and so thoughtful. Uh, the piano part in Brian's writing is almost that fifth harmonic voice. Um, there's such a delight to play. And um, this piece features some beautiful vowels. So you can bring this to your choir and really help them focus on finding those beautiful vowels again and rediscovering the tone of your ensemble. Um, Brian's pieces always feature this just glorious high point. Um, and it's, it sits right up in there in that range for sopranos where it's comfortable and soaring, not, you know, not stretching them too much. So uh, this is a great piece, features a lot of unison writing, but then breaks into these kind of wonderful dense chords, four-part chords, uh, where your choir can really enjoy the sounds around them again after this long break. So, O Come Holy Light from Brian Hansen. Thank you. 
to a mixed piece for youth choirs and adult choirs. We released this piece last winter to coincide with Black History Month uh, and it's called Good Trouble. It was inspired by John Lewis and it's written by Tom Kiesecker. Tom shared with me that one of the ideas swirling in his head as he wrote this was the opportunity for it to be multi-generational. Um, the chorus is very catchy it's, uh, you know, it has that quality of a spiritual or a taise piece where once you hear it a couple times, you just kind of want to sing along. So there is a congregational page that's reproducible. You can involve your whole assembly there. You can teach that part to your children's choir uh, and have them also sing along. There's an opportunity to feature some soloists on the verses. So you could pull from any age for those solo parts. It's a cappella. Um, you could add some percussion to give it some beat. You'll hear the percussion in the demo. Uh, but it's a wonderful piece with a great, great message. And in fact, there are some lyric options available in the score so that you could use this in both sacred and secular settings. This day has challenged us to make good trouble, to make good trouble, to make good trouble. This day has challenged us to make good trouble, to make this world a better place. This day has challenged us to make good trouble, to make good trouble, to make good trouble. This day has challenged us to make good trouble, to make this world a better place. When the world seems lost and torn, hear, O God, our prayer. We arrangements. The first is from Mark Patterson, Oh for a Thousand Tongues to Sing. This is SAB. So again, sort of limited ranges on the on the bass clef there for your uh, low voices. Very accessible. Uh, it incorporates a congregational component. So it would be a, an easy piece to put together that you can sing and worship you know, after just a few rehearsals on it. So here is Oh For A Thousand Tongues to Sing, arranged by Mark Patterson.
Our final piece of this session is from a dear friend and mentor of mine, Matthew Armstrong. If you don't know his name, um, check it out. He was a college professor of mine at Wartburg College, and uh, he was the resident composer. He would write these just glorious processionals and recessionals for Christmas with Wartburg, which is similar to um, St. Olaf's Big Christmas concert and Luther College and so many of those wonderful choral colleges. Um, that's what Dr. Armstrong would do. He arranged What a Friend We Have in Jesus for our men's choir, the Ritter Corps, which I just loved accompanying for my four years in college. It was a very special thing to be the Ritter Corps accompanist. Um, and when I started at Chorister's Guild, I reached out to, doc to Dr. Armstrong and asked, will you please, please, please set that for SATB? Um, and he did, and it's now in our catalog. This is um, just a wonderful arrangement of this foundational hymn of faith, and it's set to a different tune. So I think it helps us hear it in a different way. Um, there's a section in the middle um, that if your choir is just ready and itching to dig into that multi-layer harmony, um, and you have some really great low basses who are just wanting to get back down there. Um, this middle section, which is unaccompanied, which just, you know, some sparkles of piano in there, um, is my favorite part of the piece. It includes an option to feature a soloist, but you can also just sing it in unison. It includes lots of unison singing and um, more predictable harmonies in this song, so a great song to bring your choir back together and rediscover their identity as an ensemble, but also give them some challenges in some of the sections so that they feel fulfilled. Um, Matthew Armstrong's pieces are often my adult choir's favorites to sing. They'll ask to, to pull them out again and again and um, I think it might be the case also with this piece, so please enjoy. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we fall? Friend, we have in Jesus all our sins. 